Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another loot anime opening. Mm, we've got our February crit. Obviously, this is now March. This is what happens whenever you live in the UK, folks. We have to wait a wee while longer before we actually get a hold of these beautiful little black boxes. And this is the month of Haunted, which is um, a bit odd for a February crit. I thought love, love, happy love, love time would have been good. But here we go. Let's see what's actually inside here. Mm, okay, of course, obviously, with T-shirt. In the first thing we got, let's take it out to the wide. Hi there guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Loot Crate anime. We've got another t-shirt, another black t-shirt, but with a really nice design. Check this shit out. You guys recognize the actual logo in brown? Ruby! RWBY. It's actually a series made um, pretty much by Monty Um and the fellows at Rooster Teeth, kind of like animations. Amazing show. Um, not a huge fan of the animation style as much. I love... I do like it because it's kind of like reminds me a lot of the anime. I mean, it reminds me a lot of the anime video games like Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi and stuff that actually have 3D CGI models that are designed to have that textured, cell shaded skin over the top of them. But the world felt a bit um, Spartan, would be the way to describe it in the original series of it. Um, obviously, the show has kind of continued on, gone from strength to strength. Even with, sadly, Monty Hume's passing away earlier on this year, or not this year, but last year, um, it was really shitty to hear what happened to him. Um, I was a big fan of Monty's work from uh, back before Haloid, whenever he was like doing what looked like Mugen kind of character <laughs> mod switches for his animation and his fights. Uh, kind of like the same stuff that One Minute Melian all do nowadays. But yeah, um, I love Monty's work for years and years, and I do like Ruby. Uh, it's, not, it's, it's one of the shows where it's... It's a fantasy world that I'm not that interested in, but um, I do like the series itself. And this is actually a really nice t-shirt. I do love it. It's a really, really simple design with um, a very, very kind of vivid look to it. I mean, of course, Ruby there being at the bottom of the screen holding her uh, sniper axe, but um, it's very, very distinct. And even though it's on a black tee, uh, I actually really do like it. And even though I'm just checking to see what the rock me tees, the material on it is actually a nice fucking heavy heavy feel to it um, that feels like a t-shirt that would last the print even itself feels reasonably good um, that I'm happy with this I'm happy with this t-shirt in all ways shapes or form it's, um, hits all of the nice little buttons and of course it's in black <laughs> one of my favorite colors so let's see what else is inside the box okay well obviously we're gonna see what's in here first pretz so hot chili salad flavored pretz um, I like me some uh, Pocky Sticks and Pret Sticks, but Hot Chili Salad? No, 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 no. But there's so many other different varieties, so many other choices. Why did you... I'm gonna have to eat these, aren't I? Can I smell them through the box? Uh, we'll get to that, okay? Because I don't want to actually be, make myself a little bit sick whenever I'm actually in the middle of doing this video. <laughs> We got another little item from Ruby. Field notes. Uh, yeah, we member books. Two, a couple of them actually. Oh, nice. Yeah, one's a field notes and one of them's actually like a, a branded kind of one. That's a pretty nice little kind of printout and keepsake. I actually like those. Those are very very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's actually see if we can get a better feel on these. Hang on a second. That's actually being a little bit awkward. There we go. See if we can actually get a better focus on these two objects. Mm-hmm. That's more like it. There we go. So the field notes. Looks actually not too bad. Um, I like the design on them. The um, I always need more notepads. It's just one of those things I always carry around with me. And I doodle away on. And uh, I like the artwork on these ones. They're actually a nice little, nice little pair. Cool. Um, I'm assuming they are, these are Lutzke Crate exclusives that they've actually like got made up for the purposes of throwing around for us to play with. But um, yeah. I'd, can't question them on getting some print outside. Stationery is cool. No matter what, I'm going to be carrying around stationery and using it. Here's our traditional loot anime dongle for phones and other devices. Simple enough. It looks like just a little um, necklace chain or like a little uh, pendant this time. Don't know if it's actually going to show very well on this camera. That's the reason why I decided I shouldn't have actually bothered with that. I should have switched it across here. And then we could actually just do it manually. Nope, that's the wrong one. There we go. We can get a better look at this. There we go, that's more like it. So get a wee bit of the glint off of the actual thing and we can see what it looks like. So there you go, that's the design there. 
That's a little bit easier to see, isn't it? Yeah, maybe? No? Yes? No? Maybe? I don't know? See, the um, problem with actually using metal substances that actually have a little bit of a reflective side on them, without actually putting a full design on the object, the light catches off it if I'm trying to use good studio lights in the room. But yeah, more of these. Um, I don't need any more phone charms. <laughs> it's, just a, it's the same as like the loop pins. I do like the designs of them. I think they're actually kind of cute. But um, I, there's only so many of them that you can need over a period of time. So I've started giving them away to friends of mine who don't have ones. I end up using the actual little mo microphone plug in it now because my phone decided to stop working the audio. So what else have we got in here? What is this? This has to obviously go out because it's going to have to be unfolded. What the heck? Kind of like a cool Hanya mask. Nice! I like that! That's pretty damn cool! Oh, yeah! Well, essentially it's a bandana. Or... A Tirohine, but... That's pretty cool to look on it. Is, is that like... I'm trying to look at it, I'm trying to see if I can recognize it from? It's like, it's a demon mask. It's a Hanya-style demon mask of some sort. I'm not too sure where it's actually from. Would it actually be from Soul Eater, possibly? Like somebody's flag? I don't know. Anyway. Whoa! Let's see if I can get this all in one flick. No, you missed it. <laughs> she did that. That might be the job. There we go. Let's tie that back and make it comfortable. There we go. Works for me. So what else have we got in here? Hmm. Tokyo Ghoul. Loot Crate exclusive. All right. Tokyo Ghoul is an anime series I have not watched. I know a lot of people are really, really big into it. I know it's kind of like a hunter's kind of show. It's like a monster hunter's kind of thing. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> I approve of this message. Yeah, man. A pair of shot glasses? Fuck yeah! They have hit the right spot with me. You want to imply drinking? I will be happily joining in. That needs to be used. That's fantastic. Oh, I like them as well, like dark blood red shot glasses. Yeah, man. I was wondering whenever I lifted it, it was a little bit hefty. I am fully on board with this. Oh, so let's see. What's the designs on them? So one of them is actually text of the title of the show, I'm sure. Is that what it is? And then the other one has a main character. Which you can see here with his demon monstery kind of t multiple tails. Cool. The Katsunis. That's actually pretty cool. I'm happy enough with those. That's really, really nice. Oh, man. Cannot beat a pair of shot glasses. That's, <laughs> honestly, if you're, even somebody was coming away from a... a travels far away and they just brought back some shot glasses even though they're a pain in the hole to travel with because they're fucking glass that's cool yeah man on board with that okay what do we got next and it's a patch uh, Funimation branded but I am trying to think of what is this from um I took a guess at this might have been somebody someone from Soul Eater that actually kind of looks like somebody's kind of like a moticon from it, but I don't know. It's a angry skull face. I need. To, do you know what? Actually, I will probably find it as soon as I stop doing this video. I'll look it up and go like, ah, that's exactly what it is. But yeah, that's actually pretty cute. Um, patches don't really have much use for them myself, so uh, that will be sitting by the wayside and not really being used. And we're on to the actual booklet. I am. I am a big fan of the fact that they actually put tanker bonds inside these boxes. Um, a lot of other people would be upset about it, and other people get annoyed about the fact that they may already have the book or it's a new series or whatever else. But um, this looks pretty cool. Uh, book one of Norigami, or Nora Noragami, Stray God. I have not read this before. I've never seen this series before. Divine intervention for Seal. Yadu is a homeless god. He doesn't even have a shrine, not to mention worshippers. So to achieve his ambitious goals, he set up a service to help those in need for a small fee, hoping he'll eventually raise enough money to build himself a lavish temple of his dreams. Of course, he can't afford to be picky, so Yadu accepts all kinds of jobs, from finding lost kittens to helping a student overcome bullies at school. So, yeah, essentially it's, um... Rent a god, you know, like I said, somebody goes and prays at the, at the shrine and they actually get the blessings from a the kami of some sort. That's cool. I'm going to look forward to reading through this. The book review, book club is still ongoing. I need to get other people to read them because I was trying to try to get a book club of like three or four people to sit down and discuss uh, something like this together. But of course, it's fine it difficult to get people who will sit down and read an entire Tankabon without, uh, that, are already, that aren't already in anime and manga. So, and also the fact that having multiple, not having multiple copies, I have to get them all to read the same one. So yeah, that is still on the plans, but we don't actually have it happening just yet. What else we got in here? Ooh, okay. 
Rooster Teeth, Sanji asking for sponsors. Rooster Teeth, sponsors. Start your 30 day trial. Roosterteeth.com, join. Sponsors, see it first. Episodes of Ruby. So this is actually a bookmark that just happens to be a uh, promotional thing for Rooster Teeth, which is cool, fine. I, I completely understand when I'm throwing in uh, something into the box, they actually decided to throw their one of the marketing devices in as well, so why not? We moved on to, let me make sure there's on small sitting in there. Moving on to the poster, our, uh, ooh, I like this one. Uh, traditional poster that we have with uh, every loot crate that actually tells us um, what's inside it and gives us a nice piece of art. I like this one because it actually is uh, panels, almost feels like it's a, a single page of panels that have been shown for us to read through. I like that. That's actually pretty nice. Um, of course, our traditional uh, loot chans are all showing up in them. I think there's going to be a new one introduced for the next month, like um, uh, a rival to their main loot chan. But let's see what I was looking at here. Uh, what is it? Honey banana bandana. Okay, there you go. Essentially, looking at the back here to find out what that logo was on that I didn't recognize. It is uh, Loot Anime Labs, so it's actually one of the pieces of art. Essentially, the same as the postcards is made by the people actually at Loot rather than being anything else. And Soul Eater. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I knew Soul Eater was actually part of the series. I know I recognize it from watching the show. So, yep, yeah, we've got everything that we're expecting for. The exclusive Ruby t-shirt from Rooster Teeth. Ruby Field Notes. Soul Eater Patch. The Norgami Manga Issue 1. Exclusive Haunted Phone Charm. Hot Chili Salad Flavored Pretz. Tokyo Ghoul Shot Glasses. Honey Bandana Mask. Which you're not meant to use on your head. You're meant to use as a mask to cover your lips. Or cover your lower face, which I will do in the future. Just the fact that I've got it on my head already, so I've got a Hanya, or like an Oni, biting on my skull instead. So, let's take a wee quick duke into the actual box. So our next month is going to be filled with a few crates uh, of interest. We've got a Duel, which is the March regular crate. Uh, also the, oh no sorry, the main regular crate, the core crate, is going to be Versus while our anime crate is going to be dual, which is um, essentially, I think both of them are cashing in on the fact that we've got the Batman versus Superman uh, marketing machine on its full swing at the moment. And um, I'm not disappointed by that. I'm actually not too concerned. It's just one of those things that you kind of expect whenever there's a big massive summer release. I mean, imagine last year there was actually something big for the uh, the Avengers being released as it was for um, Age of Ultron. So we've got so much stuff to kind of look forward to over the next three weeks now. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit overrun with loot crates, to be honest, because um, we've, we've got gaming to come as well this month for its founder crate. We have obviously another loot because this one hasn't actually, this is uh, the February crate finally in March. And we also have um, our level up clothing, which, um, I haven't been doing as of late. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to see the loot accessories and loot clothing ones done individually on their own because they may, they really are going to be short ones. They would only be one object that I'd be showing to you guys in a single video yeah, because they just, they open up and there's actually an object inside them that you can look at. So yeah, here's our crate, the interior of the crate for the haunted. Get a good look at the front of it. Nice haunted house. All the way around each of the sides. It's got a nice, right, nice roof on it. Creepy house at the back door. And a wee creepy person living underneath. So yeah, that's actually our scary crate for the month for Haunted. Which I still think is actually much more of a, like an October, November kind of thing. But um, apparently they decided that this was the time for it. I'm sure that it's actually because they have other things they have marketed for other times of the year. Now, I don't really want to do this, but I'm obliged as the nature of um, Loot Crates go. So um, this is going to be a hot chili salad pretz. <laughs> I mean, uh, um, do I even have a drink around here? And I actually walk down afterwards? Um, shit. <coughs> oh man. I don't like eating weird things. Um, you'll find it soon come to find. Oh. Uh, mm. I don't even like the smell of these. Um. Oh, fuck. No, oh, fuck. 